A war horse was no ordinary horse. In battle, it was a knight's comrade in arms. By nature, horses are prey animals, but the war horse had to become a predator. They had to be aggressive and fearless, to charge enemy lines and to trample anyone in their way. To achieve this, they were specially bred and highly trained to fight, to lash out with their hooves on command. This meant war horses were expensive and so conveyed high status. War horses were incredibly strong and powerful, but they were also vulnerable. This is a really big target, and it's much easier to shoot a horse than it is to hit its rider. So just as men wore armor, horses wore armor too. A knight didn't ride his war horse on the road to battle. It was far too valuable. Instead, they were led by the knight's groom. A knight would take multiple war horses on campaign, as he would need to change to a fresh horse several times during battle. Once geared up, the knight, his horse, and his weapons became a highly effective system. The heavy cavalry lance had a small ring called a graper, and this locks into my arm forming a hard linkage so that the lance can't shoot backwards on impact. The war saddle was also crucial. With its high back, it locked the rider to the horse. This means with the graper and the saddle, horse, man, and weapon are all locked together to create one giant horse-powered projectile. The main purpose of heavy cavalry was to charge straight into the enemy and smash through their lines. The impact charge crashed into an enemy with terrifying force. It required horses with exceptional courage and power. With rebels and raiders eliminated at Cocherel, King Charles V faced one last threat to France, the relentless English invaders. Word arrived that the English army was weak and scattered, divided by infighting. The king quickly directed his army to chase down the old enemy of France at Pont Valin. The French town of pont lay directly in the path of marauding English soldiers on the hunt for loot. The town's only hope of survival lay with the French forces camped nearby. The French quickly prepared to ambush the disorganized English raiders and defend pont from ruin. A small bandit camp lurked in the valley. If the French could defeat these routiers, they could claim the supplies they had gathered. The main English army thundered into the valley. They paused to rest beyond the town before launching their raid. Coursor 
Massonata. Ah, Félix et Béat. La bourse Pérance. Six sommets. Bon ciel pour la matéria. The first group of English raiders began their attacks on the outlying farms. After destroying the farms, they would attack the town of Pontvala. Dames 
Sisumis. Parade, Archer! Toots, Odite! Mande Squid? Quid me? Comme il trinque. Parade pour la bourra. Si sommes. Fido, si. Yo, ma sonore est cause. Tourma. Parates, serviette. Brogadil, tête, une retournard. Si. Veniez, serviette. Si, veniez. Rompe. Parenthèse, servientes, ambulance. Présentez la caisse. Si, si, ton tour. Simon Vau. Ouais, mais. Quoi, vide aussi. Ok. Vale, excavo. Audite. More scattered English raiders arrived and made their way towards Pontvala. La bourse per novo. Ici va toast. Va de la bourra. Parade pour la bourra. La bourse pérenne. Posez ses ramasses. Parade pour venir. Va de la bourra. Benefect. Félicite Péa. Si sommes. de l'amour ici va toast si comprendo parade pour venir camino yo ma sono la bande vido si cosa sera promesse oh, préparate vente négocie parate promesse oh, préparate ambulance Arpia par demande. Tourma. Quoi de la bourre? Causez c'est la maçonnade. Rompe. Parate. Tourma. Audite. Entendo. Audite. Ah, 
Il avance, avant, Servientes. Quoi de vous Movo. Io ma sono la cosa. More scattered English raiders arrived and made their way towards Pontvalin. Compagnon, veille ici les commandements. Le vers full faut il archer. Oyez bien, comme je gagne mon gage. Manuel, 
The English army chose their moment and began to close in on Pont Valat. Oh, shit! 
After a hard-won battle against a scattered enemy, the French succeeded in halting the English chevauchée at pont -Valin. The English army was not invincible. The French cause was not yet lost.